Welcome back guys to another video and today's video is going to be about the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake guys. This is the Crotalus adamantius and this is the largest venomous snake here in North America with adults typically ranging in between 3 and 6 feet long and some individuals can exceed and be over 7 feet. They have a distinct pattern of diamond shaped markings along its back outlined in light colors such as yellow or gray against a background of dark brown to black scales and its tail ends in a segment rattle made of keratin which produces a rattling sound when shaken. So keratin is the same thing as made up of hair, skin, and nails I believe and it's a really cool substance because it's used in a lot of various ways within the animal kingdom. So, their head is broad and triangular and distinct from their slender neck, and they have vertically elliptical pupils and a characteristic of pit vipers, which is pretty common among all of them, especially here in the U.S., and helps them to detect prey and potential threats. These diamondback round snake has long hollow fangs located in the front of its mouth, and its venom is a potent hemotoxic venom causing tissue damage and interfering with blood clotting. I got an awesome little excerpt here on the screen so you guys can check out some information about venom and what its effects on your body so uh they primarily are found in the southeastern u.s including parts of florida georgia alabama mississippi louisiana and the carolinas and they inhabit a variety of ecosystems and that would include your pine forest swamps marshes and coastal dunes typically nocturnal uh meaning they're more active at night they can be active during the day or more diurnal is another cool little terminology you throw in there for you guys in cooler weather so normally in your winter you know they may start to come out and bask earlier in the day so you'll start to see them more uh eastern diamondback rattlesnakes primarily feed on small mammals like your rodents but they may also consume birds and other reptiles and i know a common thing to eat in at least in this part of the world is rabbits for them they definitely come across a fair share of those Mating occurs in the spring with females giving birth to live young, meaning that these snakes are ovoviviparous like a lot of other snake species. And in late summer, early fall. So litter sizes can range in between 4 to 20 offspring, if you didn't know that about the eastern diamondback rattlesnake. So they're pretty awesome snake to have. They're the king of rattlesnakes, in my opinion. A lot of people are pretty jealous of my guy, Mr. Shaky, right here, as we get a good zoom in shot of him. He's a pretty awesome looking snake. I like to look at him. I like to handle him. He has pretty cool scales. Like his scales feel really, really cool on the on the skin. But uh, let's uh, kind of get started with it because we gotta get it rolling. I think we're gonna give the bigger one of the two to Mr. Shaky himself. She can definitely throw him back. Gotta get rid of some of these rats I got, man. I got too many rats. Oh, best believe, Mr. Rat, I will let you go. You just, oh, he waiting too. He's watching. Ugh. As long as he figures it out. Ooh. He sound he hit him with that show enough then. Cause you see he turned around, he was like, Oh, what you doing here? And he hit him with that, do it now, Gohan. Uh oh, he might do it again. You keep messing around with him. He gonna hit him with that <laughs> with that Vegeta final flash like he did Majin Buu. Blew his whole top half off. What was that cell? I think he did that to cell. Our mouse ran. He ain't doing too good. Yeah, that venom going in there. It's, it's working on him. You guys can't tell over there. He ain't feeling that. You definitely know something's going on. You know, like, oh, I, I ain't okay. That I can assure you. I might stick my little hook in here. Maybe that'll get him. Kind of back over here to where my snake is. Oh, yeah. 
That mouse friend ain't doing too good. And even me helping him move him over here, he seemed like he's just out of it. I think it's about to be night night for him. So let's go ahead and hit them with a time lapse. But before we do, I always have to make sure you guys check out these links I have down in the description. I have a lot of awesome stuff for your reptile keeping hobbies and things like that from water bowls, highs, and closures, all kinds of different stuff. And it really helps out with the channel, earn some extra cash to uh, just pitch some of this stuff out to you guys. I'll be doing some more review videos on some new stuff when I get some new people who want to send me some stuff to try out. I might buy some new stuff for the reptiles to try out and see how it is and uh, tell you guys all about it, man, or plan out some new stuff because I uh, do got a birthday coming up, so I might get me a little something special for myself. 